What's going on guys? My name is Daryl. Today in this video, I'll walk you through how to back up your WordPress website step-by-step. -step. So backing up your website is one of those things that you tend to procrastinate because you think it's never gonna happen to you. Well, things do happen and my website was personally hacked as well before. So it's always important to have a backup of your WordPress website. Now here's a legit few reasons on why you should always back up your WordPress website. Number one, malware. Hackers are everywhere on the internet and they're always looking for exploitations in order to gain access to your WordPress websites. Number two, updates. Sometimes updating a plugin or theme can literally break an entire website. This is getting more common as WordPress plugins and themes get more complex over time. Number three, forget to make a payment. This actually happened to me last month. We all have things to do and sometimes your credit card company might block payments and this can cause your entire website to go down or even worse, get completely deleted. And number four, it's always good to have a backup just in case for whatever reason, right? I'll show you ways on how to generate automated backups and import them on your WordPress website. Now, backing up your website today is actually a lot easier than it was back in the day. Now, I'll be showing you two free methods on how to back up your WordPress website. The first method is a free plugin. You can use a free plugin to create backups and schedule automated backups for your website. You can have these automated backups sent directly to your Google Drive automatically. Number two, hosting company. Today, most hosting companies, if not all hosting companies, offer free automated backups for their customers, and you can access these within the dashboard of your hosting company. Hostinger offers free automated daily backups that you can easily use to backup your websites. We have a link to Hostinger with a discount code if you want to try out Hostinger and get free automated backups for your website. So let me walk you through the first method. Okay, so here's my beautiful WordPress website, and I want to back it up. So to get started, let's go to our dashboard and we'll scroll down to plugins and click on add new plugin. Under search plugins, we're gonna type in updraft. Here's the plugin that we need, it is updraft plus. So go ahead and click on install now, and then I'll click on activate. Okay, so now that we've done that, you'll notice on the left side, you'll see updraft plus. Go ahead and click on updraft plus. And then you'll see on the right side, you'll see backup now. Go ahead and click on the backup now button. Make sure that these two boxes are checked and then click on backup now. All right, so now we have a backup of our websites. Here on the bottom, you'll see the existing backups located at the bottom of the screen, so you can restore it, delete it, and then also manage the other plugins and themes. Now let's go ahead and schedule an automated backup and send it to a remote storage. So to do that, let's go over here to settings. Now here you can create automated backups. Now I hate the way Updraft worded this, it's actually a little confusing. So here you can select the backup schedule. So you can create a backup every 12 hours, every day, every week or every month. I wanna create a backup every single week. And then on the right side, you'll see and retain this many scheduled backups. So I'm gonna change this to four. So essentially what I'm saying here is I wanna back up every single week with a maximum of four backups. So once it hits four backups, it's going to delete the oldest version of the backup. I also wanna do this for database as well. That's actually really important. So under the database backup schedule, I'll also do the same thing here. Now below that, you'll choose your remote storage. So if you use any of these platforms, you can send automated backups directly to these platforms like Dropbox or Amazon S3 or Google Drive. I'll go ahead and select Google Drive. Now, once you select the drive, you'll actually scroll down. Uh, don't log in just yet. Just scroll to the bottom of the page and then click on Save Changes. Okay, so now we're basically saying, I wanna schedule a backup every single week. Now we can go ahead and log in with Google. So to do that, you'll see this sign in with Google. I'll go ahead and click on Sign in with Google. And then I'll select the account where I want the backup sent to my Google Drive. So I'll just choose my main email. Here, I'll click on continue and continue one more time. And then lastly, I'll click on complete setup. And then after that, it'll bring you back to your updraft dashboard and you'll see a success notice here at the top. So now this plugin is gonna create automated backups and they're gonna send them directly to our Google Drive account every single week. Okay, so let's say for instance, you messed up, right? You destroyed your website, something bad happened. Here's my current website, right? So this is the domain that we're currently working on and maybe Elementor spazzed out, right? Maybe Elementor just got a mind of its own and just deleted everything and, and now you're stuck from you know square one. So let me show you now how to restore the backup. So going back to Updraft Plus, I'll go ahead and scroll down 
And all I gotta do is click on restore and this will restore my website to that previous backup. So I'll click on restore. So next you'll choose what components you want to restore. Now, typically you'd probably want to restore everything back to the way it was. So we're gonna select plugins, themes, uploads, must use plugins, the database, that's a very important one, and then also others. Now others is basically anything that's not listed here. So for example, if you have like JSON files or something or kits on your website, it'll also restore those other files. So once you select all the components, we'll then click on next. All right, so now it's retrieving our backup files and then I'll click on restore. Okay, so now it's restoring our website back to its previous backup. So just give this like one or two minutes. All right, restore is successful. Now let's click on return to updraft configuration. All right, so we restored our website. Now let's go ahead and go back to our website and refresh this page. All right, and just like that, we now have our website restored back to its previous state. Now, if you find that the changes were not on your website, all you gotta do is just clear the cache. A lot of the times it's restoring the old version of your website. So if this was, uh, you know, if nothing showed up for you, just go ahead and restore the cache and you'll be all good. Now, let me quickly talk about how to actually download a copy if you want to actually have one on your own computer. So to do that, let's go back to Updraft Plus. And let's say for instance, you know, cause having it backed up here is cool and all, but if your website is not accessible, then you can't, you know, back it up from your website. So to download a copy of the backup, you'll see if you scroll down, it says backup data, click to download. You'll need to go ahead and download each of these. So you'll go ahead and download your database, right? Your plugins, the themes, the uploads, must use plugins and others. So now it's actually gonna download these to your computer, right? So you'll see that these are now ready to be downloaded. So I'll click on download to your computer. And then you'll see it downloads to my computer. So you'll need to go through all these here just to make sure that it restores everything back to its previous state. So I'll click on download themes, download the uploads, and then download the must use plugins, and then also download the others. Okay, now once those are downloaded to your computer, I'll show you how you can import it to Updraft. Now, it's always good to have a copy on your computer just in case they don't send it to your Google Drive or if the website becomes inaccessible. So to upload those backups, all you'll do is click on Upload Backup Files and then you'll drag in those files. So you'll click on the Select Files. So here are the copies of my backups and I'll go ahead and click on all of them and I'll click on Open. And then you're gonna see that uh, Updraft is now going to download all of these backups. And then if we scroll to the bottom, you'll see that it is now available for backing up. And then we can also restore it based off those specific backups. So it's always good to have like a manual copy just in case, you know, your website just becomes inaccessible. So that is how you can back up your WordPress website using a free plugin. So next, let me walk you through how to back up your website using the free services of a hosting company. So next, let me walk you through how to generate backups through your hosting company. Now, most hosting companies, if not all of them, offer free automated backups for their customers. You can access these backups in the dashboard of your hosting or portal. Hostinger is among one of the cheapest and fastest web hosting companies that creates free automated daily backups for their customers. So I'll be showing you how to back up your website using Hostinger. Okay, so this is the Hostinger dashboard. And if you're not a customer of Hostinger yet, I'll leave a link in the description along with the discount code. Jump on the bandwagon and join Hostinger. It is a great place to get started with hosting your websites. Now on the left side, I'll click on websites and they've actually made it really simple for you to actually uh, get a copy of your websites. Now to access the backups, you'll go ahead and click on dashboard. Next, I'll click on backups. And then here's where you can manage your backups. So you can restore your website to a previous state. You can also download the files. You can also download the database and you can also generate a new backup on demand. So if you wanna back up your website before maybe working on a project or something, you're not sure what's gonna happen with it, you can always go ahead and click on generate new backup and it'll create one daily backup for you for free on demand. Now, if you wanna access the older files, like the files or the databases of your website, you'll just go ahead and click on select. And then here you can select a date. So this actually goes back to like a, I think a month, right? So they actually, um, they hold a lot of storage for you. So they'll give you access to all of your backup download data within the last month. So to restore the website to a previous date, all you'll do is click on select. And then here you can choose the backup dates. So you'll see that uh, today's the 13th and this goes all the way back to the 30th. So all you gotta do is click on the date and then click on restore. So next hosting is gonna let you know that they're going to delete your entire website and replace it with that selected backup version. So they just wanna make sure that you understand it, right? Duh. So I'll click on the checkbox and then I'll click on restore. And lastly, Hostinger is now going to restore the website using the backup that we selected. Now this process can take anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes. So I'll go ahead and click on close. 
Okay, so the backup has completed, and if you want to see if it's done, you'll click on Restore History, and then you'll see the backup was a success. Now, going back to our website, you'll see that the website was restored back to its previous states. So that is how you can back up your website using a free plugin and also your hosting company. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and until then, I will see all of you party people later.